like you this. You can go ahead and turn that record off now, Shani. Hello, all you youngins out there. It is I, Grand Pappy Papa. Hope you enjoy my uh, new theme song right there. Mm-hmm. Probably the only thing new about me is that theme song in that intro. So, yeah. And I think that theme song, it could be the start of a good discussion for today. Today, I want to talk to y'all about the olden days of music. I don't know what you young rubber got going on, but what y'all listening to today, it ain't music. Today's music scene is absurd. Yes, it is. Like, and especially the names, too. Goodness gracious, what is up with these names? Like, what the heck is a Kanye pump? What is that? Like, what the heck is that, uh, that, what was it, the, uh, the 60 Cent fella? What it, what? Back in my day, 60 Cent was the name of a, back in my day, 60 Cent was the price of admission that I paid to go see a concert. But now you mean to tell me if I go to a 50 Cent concert, I gotta pay, like, over $400 for it? That's, that's insane! Yeah. Yeah, I swear, you young don't know what good music is. None of y'all know what any good music is. None of y'all do. Uh, but, but look, back in my day, we had real musical artists. I'm talking about people like, uh, Eddie Monroe. I'm talking about people like, uh, Ernest Tubb. I'm talking about people like, um, Roya Cuff. These are great musical geniuses back in my day. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, we... Come here, youngin. You, come here, young whippersnapper. Like, this, this, this guy right here, he, he knows what I'm talking about. Come, come here, young whippersnapper. Come here, young whippersnapper. Uh, young Whipper Snap over here. Uh, Tommy, what music do you listen to today? Rap. Give me the name of a rap artist right now. Kodak Black. See, what kind of name is Kodak Black? Uh, Kodak's the name of a camera. All these musical. Uh, give me another name. Anybody. Uh, <laughs> people are eating in there. What is up with these people calling themselves so something sweet? Uh, okay, so. Thank you, young whippers. I don't, I don't need you now, youngin. Go, go on, go on. All right, so. All these musical talent today, and they don't know how we old folks used to get jiggy with it back in the day. Like, I could b bust a move right now. Like, oh, oh, my hip, my hip. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my hip. Okay. It was a party back in the day. It was a party back in the day. I have y'all know that I was the one that I was the one that taught the Soggy Bottom Boys how to sing. Yep, that was me. As a matter of fact, I was the one that originally wrote Man of Constant Sorrow. That was me. I wrote that song. I remember writing it in a restaurant, getting ready to sing it for my church choir that day, and I looked at the time and I was late. I had to run out of there in a speedy fashion. And I went to go look for the song. I didn't know where it was. All of a sudden, this George Clooney looking like, he was up there, and he started singing my song, and he took all the royalties from it. It, it was bad. It, it, it was very bad. Moral of the story is this. Get, if we, if we try to get cheeky with it, have just peanut butter. Have a good day.